now to Mr. Bohmir Dufek uh, to present his uh, statement on the topic of inter intergenerational farm transfer and the position of young farmers. Mr. Dufek, since uh, 1993, has been the chairman of the Trade Union of Agriculture and Food Workers, the Free Trade Union Association of the Czech Republic, member of the Trade Union delegations in the Council on Social uh, Agreement, the Czech Republic, and member of the Executive Committee of the European Federation of Trade Unions, workers in agriculture, food industry, and tourism. And he is also a member of the European Social and Economic Committee, Group 2, Employers, Section for Agriculture, uh, Rural Development and the Environment. So we are justified to suppose that he has a very rich experience. So he has the floor now. So if you allow, I'd like to uh, greet everybody here. And my topic is uh, intergenerational uh, transfer in uh, agriculture and the position of young farmers, and I must say that I'll try to be as uh, much as embracing as I can be, but I do not want to introduce uh, extraneous things in my topics, and, uh, and of course I'll be uh, looking forward to comments from others. You know, this is a very uh, complex topic. And for its solution, uh, it's necessary that European uh, politicians are supported uh, and uh, that they pay special attention to European rural areas, especially in farming and also intergenerational transfer, because uh, the agricultural population is aging, uh, the number of farmers uh, is ever dropping, and also all employees in uh, that sector. And so a big task is in store for the European Union in the coming period in approaching the rural areas where the agriculture production takes place. As a member of the European Social and Economic Council, I support clearly the nine objectives which the Commission has proposed for the common agricultural policy for the period of 2021 to 27. First, it is to provide for a just uh, income uh, for agriculture, which is a huge financial problem, and uh, secondly, increase the competitiveness of agriculture, and it means uh, competitiveness towards imports from third countries, to uh, set balance in the food chain. Fourth, uh, act against climate change, but I say that I'm very cautious here, uh, cautious here because uh, it seems to me that the uh, numbers uh, which the European Union strive to achieve are, are not realistic and the agriculturists will have a big problems and be disadvantaged uh, in world markets. Protection of the environment, everybody wishes so. Nobody wants to uh, deteriorate uh, worsen positions of countries and, and also we want the biodiversity in uh, the diverse fields in Europe. Seven, uh, support to intergenerational tra uh, transfer, uh, which uh, is the task for the agriculture. Eight, uh, need to maintain the dynamism in rural areas. And nine, uh, protect uh, the quality of foodstuff and health of the uh, European population. Let's raise a simple question. What different, uh, what the meaning is of the rural areas? Uh, first, it's a quantitative uh, dimension. 55% of population live in those areas. Second, 50% of employees uh, are here. Uh, third, uh, it creates 45% uh, uh, of rough added value uh, or gross added value. I'd like to mention uh, the program of agriculture 4.0 because, for example, the digitalization processes uh, bring about uh, new uh, working and mainly uh, entrepreneurial opportunities and mainly create new uh, living, uh, uh, new prospects for the life of young people. 
And these tendencies lead to a change of actually people um, evacuating the rural areas. The change of the current uh, demographic situation requires that young people uh, from rural areas do not uh, uh, leave uh, those areas and are rather designed to stay there and do business uh, there and work there. The main indicator uh, which has uh, impact on this decision, and it's not the only one, is the possibility to work in uh, the uh, own professions of people which will have decent remuneration and uh, have future prospects. It's necessary to expand and uh, materialize an attractive uh, image, life image of young people uh, in uh, rural areas and in the uh, countryside. Uh, equal should be also the approach to uh, common ownership uh, of agricultural enterprises. In uh, rural areas, uh, enterprises are uh, uh, take the upper hand who uh, focus on uh, processing of agricultural products. Condition of a fast intergenerational transfer could be um, incentives uh, that should be high enough. In most villages, the biggest uh, actual enterprise is usually a big cooperative or, or, or a big private farmer. Uh, different uh, treatments in terms of taxes should be uh, actually uh, installed or providing all kinds of supports uh, by uh, governments uh, or public administration. Uh, I'd like to mention here the fact that uh, as a cooperative, uh, what I have in mind are huge uh, communities, uh, limited liability companies, but also joint stock companies, as this is the case in the Czech Republic. Uh, basic, uh, the agriculture is usually the basic stone of economy which enables development in other sectors, like the agricultural uh, food uh, complex and also tourism. Uh, Intergenerational transfer uh, uh, concerns uh, a number of sectors uh, and spheres. I will deal with the intergeneration transfer in agriculture only. And as the previous speaker said, it's not a question just of agriculture, but also uh, uh, population aging uh, in general at the present time. In the framework of the uh, uh, CAP, uh, this broad question of intergenerational transfer uh, is being dealt with uh, through uh, various uh, measures and through the use of uh, lifestyle tools like uh, direct payments, uh, setting up uh, new businesses for young people, financial uh, instruments uh, and services, uh, yearly or uh, one-time uh, payments uh, to young agriculturists. Uh, allow me to uh, mention uh, short problems that, that actually are impediments to the development of uh, uh, young farmers. One of the biggest problems, I'm convinced, is uh, are the, uh, the in agricultural incomes. Third, uh, it, these are also problems uh, about uh, setting just uh, fair prices of agricultural products that are liquidated by imports of products which do not actually com correspond to the standards valid in the European Union. Fourth, we can say it's a problem uh, in getting financial means, investment uh, uh, means. Uh, fifth, uh, the main tool of production is soil, which uh, however, uh, is in some areas of Europe is not sufficiently accessible. Six, another problem, the future, uh, there is the absence of a, uh, adequate systems of retirement. And seven, uh, what would be a great help would be measures to facilitate uh, the takeover of businesses or succession of business from the old to young ones, uh, and also the transfers of uh, actual agricultural farms. Uh, uh, I'd like to evaluate the present uh, situation and, how, and mainly how to help uh, the intergenerational transfers and how to improve uh, the position of young farmers. Uh, 
and agricultural population. Firstly, I'd like to state uh, that the contribution to the income provided to uh, young uh, farmers is a decisive factor for them to choose this profession. We can clearly state that without this additional support, most young farmers would not be able to uh, start uh, doing this business or profession at all. It's necessary to, uh, to uh, lengthen the uh, actual existing payments to young farmers from five uh, to seven years. Uh, the budget must be increased from 2% of the uh, of CAP uh, CAP in the future years, as means uh, in the future period of 21 to 27 from 4% uh, of internal uh, uh, actually uh, income to young farmers. Fourth, uh, the individual existing spheres of uh, funding should help uh, young farmers through uh, financial tools and state guarantees, which is very important. As uh, members of the uh, European Economic Territory Committee, we have dealt uh, with evaluation of the impacts of the joint agricultural policy on intergenerational uh, transfer. And in our uh, report, uh, we have recommended the following measures. First, the European Social and Economic Committee emphasizes the importance of the of CAP and the uh, properly functioning uh, uh, uniform market. Market, uh, so that ah, agriculture remains uh, feasible and so that uh, actually young people are lured literally to this sector. Uh, second, in the uh, current uh, reference periods, 21 to 27, for uh, the agricultural, uh, common agricultural policy, sufficient budget should be allocated so the necessary financial uh, means are available for, for appropriate support to, to intergenerational transfers and for the reason 2% should be allocated from the cap uh, uh, and it's the first and second pillars. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, taken together uh, to support uh, of young people so that young uh, farmers could have the same prospects on development in all EU uh, member states. Uh, direct payments should be increased to uh, young farmers in those EU member states whose uh, direct payments are uh, distinctly under the European average. This is very important because we are not convinced that it should be all the same in all EU member states. Uh, th uh, support of intergenerational transfer requires uh, um, that the measures or cap measures should be intertwined and better and coordinated in a better manner so that young farmers could be supported in the different stages of development of building the profession, which is also very important for because building uh, uh, and, and cultural business uh, takes years and these people need to have a long-term prospect. Third, we are in favor of uh, setting a ceiling for the support to young farmers. So providing these support to the setting up of new businesses must be uh, pre uh, uh, must be um, actually uh, must uh, uh, needs a proper uh, plan of development or business plan of these. Fourth, uh, the period must be uh, prolonged uh, for which which uh, support is given to young farmers within the cap from five to seven years, which uh, will increase the uh, prospects. Uh, six, uh, we are emphatically uh, actually in favor of the additional supplementary or additional payment provided to the young farmers uh, uh, in the uh, second uh, pillar should at least be 5%. We would like to have a long-term prospect uh, so because the agriculture uh, has one disadvantage because it's seasonal work that in any future reform or, or cap reform, uh, the uh, existing measures should play uh, a crucial role in setting up new businesses and companies through uh, internal state reserves and regime, uh, proper regime for young farmers, so that eight, we can uh, maintain every year sufficient uh, reserve for young uh, 
farmers, the EU member states should have the opportunity to uh, provide in case of selling and pleasing of uh, property uh, uh, redemption, uh, reclaiming actually of uh, the agricultural businesses with regard to the legal uh, uh, regulation. And at the same time, ninth, um, in the uh, second pillar of, the, uh, of CAP, there should be a set higher structure of support to investment, uh, which uh, young trained uh, farmers could uh, take advantage in EU member states. And we recommend this, this form of support is provided uh, for uh, seven years instead of the uh, current uh, five years. Uh, ten, uh, it is our opinion across the whole Europe that uh, the member states, EU member states, uh, introduced a special legal regime for transfers of agricultural businesses, which will be uh, very important uh, for the future. And at the same time, 12, we uh, recommend uh, to uh, increase environmental payments provided to uh, young farmers in the second pillar, at least by 25%, so that the participation involvement in the system can be increased. In, in the framework of the second pillar of uh, CAP, uh, the should, emphasis should be laid on providing of uh, cheap uh, loans, low-cost uh, funding of young farmers, uh, a new mechanism should be introduced of funding in the framework of which there should be uh, as uh, low uh, as possible bureaucratic framework. And I underline this because uh, within the whole Europe, not only Czech Republic, the bureaucratic load is uh, increasing. So vast support, uh, a broader support should be provided to uh, succeeding young farmers or even the children of those farmers uh, and also in the second pillar of the uh, CAP uh, very different various uh, types of uh, providing of uh, uh, support should be given and I think that the EU member states should uh, allocate the higher financial means to advising uh, to counsel to uh, starting young farmers and uh, let me say it also to the existing also farmers for the education and professional preparation uh, there should be the intergenerational transfer, uh, should be supported as much as possible by restraining costs or cutting costs and, and cutting taxes uh, uh, in the cases of transfer uh, to young generations. And let me talk about the atmosphere and the question of women. I think that there should be incentive for young women to uh, take charge of con controlling or managing agricultural business, settle in rural areas and play play a full uh, and active support there by owning uh, inter alia uh, the agricultural businesses and at the same time uh, there should be advisory companies that should be set up and so including companies who represent young uh, women are uh, operating in agriculture and the setting up on successful functioning for agricultural business should be helped very much by programs serving to the development serving the development of uh, entrepreneurial skills. And I'm also convinced that uh, the, the, uh, the Social and Economic Council supports the intention uh, to define as, mu as much as possible that the notion of active agricultural farmers uh, needs, uh, needs to be done to young farmers in ar areas with natural uh, um, restrictions or limitations, and there should be maximum support provided to them in the second pillar of the CAP. And what is also very important with regard to the future prospects is the introduction of the system of uh, premature uh, retirement or early retirement in the different EU member states. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all I wanted to say, and I viewed some things uh, which concern the common agricultural policy, also uh, the decisions of the uh, European Economic and Social Council, on, and also uh, my own I've referred to my own papers, and I'm convinced that they will serve also a very good discussion also for young farmers, because a very uh, complicated period in store is in store for us um, uh, after we overcome uh, the epidemiological crisis prevailing and, and being a limiting, fa limiting factor in all uh, spheres of the European, in the European Union. I wish to uh, thank to uh, Mr. Dufek, the, the chairman of the Trade Union Association.